and in this video we shall be using uh, Hagaref one and Wireshark as well as uh, what this uh, this uh, tool GRGSM for trying to monitor the packets of uh, network to and from the BTS so that we can be able to find out the geolocation of a certain BTS on the certain uh, frequency so now we will have uh, these two tools installed as well as the HackRef uh, libraries that we will need to establish the connection with the HackRef and trying to see where the HackRef1 is actually installed the HackRef1 that I'm using now is the HackRef uh, uh, with Podapack uh, uh, H2 so now um, I have connected the longest range uh, antenna that uh, came directly with HackRef1 so in this video we shall be having this few toolkit so that we can be able to check and identify and try to navigate within the frequencies and then try to find out whether with Wireshark we can be able to find out who is uh, actually trying to connect to a certain basic transceiver station so as of now let's just w try to not wait and then try to uh, work so that we can see what we can be able to find now as of now what we need is the <coughs> is the wire shark we need the wire shark um, wire shark Wireshark. So we have got Wireshark right here, and we need this interface. And as we need this interface, we can start capturing the packet so that in a case, uh, when we need we reach the right frequency, Wireshark can allow us to actually w see the network packets that are traveling right here to and from uh, the mobile device so as of now let's try to let's try to open the grgsm so we can try to see whether it is true but before we do that let's try to find hackerf info hackerf info will help us to identify the connected hackerf one if it is actually connected or not because before that you can ls usb so that we can be able to see whether we have hackerf uh, connected as of now so we can see that hackerf is there and now that it's there what we do is um to start grgsm on a on this frequency maybe um and if on this frequency we can start uh, trying to navigate so that we can be able to see whether uh, at different frequencies we can find some more information so as of now what we do is to um, I saw different frequencies with uh, uh, with the network connections so as of now let me uh, uh, remove this one and after removing this one so we can navigate directly so that in your case you can try to see for yourself whether and how you can try to approach this so as of now let's try to see and then try to go down so that we can be able to find out because we are on gsm 900 as of now so now that we are on gsm 900 we can go down so that we can be able to see whether we can uh, find out the different uh, towers uh, from different mobile providers that will give us uh, network connections and then so that we can monitor using Wireshark okay so we have seen uh, here right here we saw the uh, different connection that is going somewhere so let's try to uh, go <coughs> and then after we we can be able to see uh, I will also show you the Wireshark filter that will help us to identify different artifacts that we can need uh, for 
GSM monitoring. So as of now, let's go down, down, and you can see, uh, um, we can see um, the different, uh, different uh, uh, network artifacts that we can find. There is a movement now at Wireshark. So here, it means there is a tower which uh, allows mobiles, mobile devices to connect uh, on this frequency if we can see but in this case we can still go 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 and then try to find out whether we can be able to to see other frequencies because uh, as of now we can go to Wireshark and then try to filter so that we can find exactly what we need so as we find out whatever we need we can not uh, ICMP we don't need ICMP packets and we also need um, the GSM tab we only need uh, this packet so so we can see that um, now we are able to find out the the information on this um, on this uh, on this frequency so as we find out the information on this frequency then let's try to pause right here so we can try to find out if we can be able to see anything that is uh, that can allow us to see who is trying to connect it to a certain bts because in this case hackerf1 has turned itself to a nearest bts so that we can be able to see the uplink uh, between uh, a cell phone and a, a, a BTS. So as of now, we can try to find out. Um, so let's try to find out. And so now, and we have seen so much information, but we also saw that uh, there is a cell identity and location area information this location area information can tell us that we have connected to uh, econet uh, econet uh, and we can we can also see the lac and as of now it means we are still doing the job uh, perfectly which means if you have an open cell id uh, you can uh, include this uh, information so that you can be able to identify exactly where is this someone trying to connect from uh, as you trying to triangulate so now um as you can see this location is the physical location of the tower then you can see that the mcc is 651 from the country of lesotho and the lac is here and many other information that you can find uh let's try to see the cell options okay now we can see that okay this is the uh radio link timeout okay now we can see some information that is actually juicy for the usage of this so this is the the arfn for uh it it, 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 it like i said as it, as this video began uh the arfn is 124 if you go online and trying to find out why is this uh, a reference uh, 124 it will tell you that it's because we are on the gsm 900 so now uh, we can have we have so much information then we can see all this information that can tell you and about the it can tell you about the the physical location of this uh, mobile uh, network tower and now um you can see that if you can move to the other um frequency it will give us because as i said to you this uh, this uh, <coughs> this type of uh, connection is trying to make an uh, a passive mc catcher by yourself without employing a python program or trying to re-implement whatever is actually existing because as of now if we can uh, come right here 
and then we have seen that we have some information we can be able to find so let's try to stop uh, and then try to to filter the other packets and let's uh, come uh, right here because we were at equinet so let's try to see whether there are other bts's or uh, other mobile providers that we can be able to find out or the same mobile provider with different frequencies so let's try to move and then try to see whether we can be able to find out uh, if there is uh, yes now we can see we can see that uh, there is a mobile provider uh, we can be able to find right here so let's capture capture and then try to uh, do some network forensics whether we can be able to find out who is actually trying to connect it from one of the of the bts's so that we can try to locate this individual and try to think to find out on what grounds are they trying to connect because they are trying to connect to a a different or the same mobile uh, operator so now um now let's try to uh try to finger try to figure out uh where they are trying to connect let's uh, maybe let's try to wait a while and uh let's wait a while and then try to we can see that uh, these paging requests are actually successful and the fact that they are trying to uh let's wait a while and try to find out sell channel description and we want the channel description um not channel description as such but we want the um, we want the uh, type 3 let me let me try to find out uh, type 3 so let's come here and then try to find out what is really uh, going on right here so here we are um now that we have got this information so we have a location area code and um it is still um equinet on different frequency so which means uh, we can go uh, try to go deeper and then uh, see because all these mobile devices are trying to connect to different uh, or the same tower with different uh, frequencies so now we have seen that um, if you see uh, the MSS shall use the uplink uh, this continuous trans transmission which is yes okay no problem now um, let's try to figure out whether we can uh, capture other packets and then try to see whether we can find the new uh, mobile network service provider um, yes so what we are doing is to just navigate between these frequencies so that we can be able to find out whether we we can be able to find uh, the next uh, operator so we can see that uh, there is another frequency and which means uh, we can wait a while to try to find out whether we can be able to find out um, if this is a, a different uh, mobile service provider now now that we yes so we can see that now there is a new mobile uh, service provider which is now uh, for the comle so too you can see the mnc is currently different and many other information such as uh, lac are totally different so this is the new mobile operator uh, instead of that older one so now we have got uh, so much information that you can even come here so that you can be able to see the information on the uplink uh, okay so for that matter uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you